I couldn't be luckier that he was my serial killer. Um, <laughs> I don't kill for fun. You're going to be part of a masterpiece. And when I'm done, the world Great to see you guys. Congrats on the show. Uh, first Thank of all, Ryan, so it, it's so good to see you without blonde hair because I was thinking it's going to be really terrifying to see uh, Ed Ramsey pop up on my screen. <laughs> so He's done. Thank, He's done. thank Ed you, Ramsey's, thank you yeah. for that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and Eloise, my first question is for you. Um, was Ryan as terrifying on the set as he is on the screen? Yes. Yes. Monster. <laughs> Total, total monster. Never out of character. I had to call him Ramsey <laughs> for five months straight. Uh, no, I'm just and kidding. Still today, and still, yes, Ramsey. Yes, um, he's a he's an absolute delight, and um, I I couldn't be luckier that he was my serial killer. Um, <laughs> he just uh, from from day one, we established a rapport and a trust, and you know it, what you're having, what we were having to do is incredibly intimate um, and really vulnerable, especially for me, strapped strapped mm -hmm. in uh, at at his complete mercy, honestly. And um, and the amount of tenderness that he showed me off screen allowed us to go to really dark and ruthless places on screen. So um, so I feel really grateful for that. Not to mention he's just, he's an excellent actor in itself. So um, it's always a treat as a as an actor when you enter into a scene and, and you're just, you're just trying to return the serve of um, what the other person's giving you. And, and he's a great uh, metaphorical tennis player. <laughs> oh, I know who you are. Lead investigator on the Gary Sinatra. Ryan, who came up, who came up with uh, Ed's uh, appearance? Because it kind of looks like a cross between Moriarty and Kendall with a dash of Patrick Bateman. Hey. With, it, with, with Bateman from uh, American Psycho? Yeah. Yes. That's what I was okay. About you got two was of my that your references. reference. Yes. 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 You nailed it. Um, that was that was the thought. Was that uh, you know not only does he spend time manicuring his victims and curating their look in a certain way, and I thought he would apply that same sort of meticulous curation to his own image, but I thought this guy's trying so desperately to fit in and be quote unquote normal and be charming and and all these things. So I thought it would be interesting to see him try to be this perfect all American guy, this Ken doll, as you said, and indeed American psycho as well, you know, taking that American exceptionalism or whatever you want to call it to it, this psychotic <laughs> degree when he's anything, but when he's a bit, you know, deranged and psychotic. And, and so, yeah, I thought that dichotomy would be fun to explore. <laughs>